Shout out to all the jumpers, dunkers, much love. We are on a mission to use the physical laws of the universe to save athletes' bodies using science. It's the 21st century. We have to use science. We can save generations of athletes. Athletes who, high flyers who jump high and do not study landings are doomed for a lifetime of injury and arthritis. And we're on a mission armed with physics to save lives, really. So this video is about low point drops versus pull up drops. Um, we see two pull up drops and three uh, low point drops. So gravity acts, acts as acceleration, uh, speeding us towards the ground. The higher we drop, the greater the acceleration, the greater velocity on landing, the greater, uh, sorry, downward velocity on landing. Uh, when we land on impact, the greater upward acceleration required to stop, the greater force required to stop. The higher we drop, the greater the force, right? Obvious. The lower we drop, the less the force. Um, force is an impact closely, closely associated with injury and arthritis. Obviously, if you fall from an airplane, you're going to get hurt. If you can come down with a parachute, you're not going to get hurt. So you could pull up from the rim like Anthony Davis or Steph Curry, or you could hang from the rim, drop from the low point like Tim Duncan. Uh, if you don't have a 10-foot reach like Duncan, you can climb down from the net like LeBron, and you can uh, drop from the low point for a minimum force landing. So that's basically what it is. Uh, Pull-up drops are just stupid. I'm sorry, but they're stupid when we need to stop people from doing them. If you want to do it occasionally with proper backslide technique during training, that's fine. But as, as a landing strategy in general, it's just damage to the body. So, in general, drop from the low point. Copy Tim Duncan, copy LeBron James. That's it. I'm trying to save bodies here, spread the message, peace and love.